let's begin with the images that emerged over the weekend from Bucha, the town north of Kiev. These terrible images. The mayor counts 270 bodies, the last I saw of civilians, for the most part, who were, were uh, murdered, essentially, some with their hands tied behind their backs. Reactions to these uh, images have been uh, immediate. Uh, Secretary of State Blinken uh, said that they were a punch in the gut. The French President Macron called them unbearable. Be uh, grateful for your brief personal reaction as you saw these images. Uh, what, what did you think? That this is an effort to terrorize and intimidate the people of Ukraine who are standing up for their nation, for their people, to fight back against invaders. That these images may have local roots, but they have global reach. We are all bearing witness. I am now here in Warsaw speaking to you from the capital of Poland that has taken in at least, David, 2.4 million people over the last 28 days. And just to put it in perspective, David, I was ambassador in Sweden for four years, a country that rightfully makes a big deal that they took in 1 million people over 20 years. Poland, over 28 days, has taken in 2.4 million people. And that's in addition to 2 million Ukrainians who had come here before Putin invaded Ukraine. And so it is an enormous influx of people. In Warsaw, it's 300,000 people, all of whom have stories of fleeing their homes, going on the road to Medica or Korczowa or any of the eight border crossings between Poland and Ukraine to flee across the border and somehow, some way, find a home. And that's where, to me, the most interesting part of the story is, because Poland has, as a national policy, the assimilating of all arriving refugees into people's homes. That's the unique thing that is working so far in this country. All these refugees literally have a place to go that you can call a home. And it is a example of this country, Poland, that has been victimized many times over the centuries of former victims embracing today's victims. It's an amazing human interest story and it's working so far.